I don't actually have the equipment to weld stainless at the moment. Well, Cody, I do have the equipment. Yes, science! So today we're going to be making Cody's alkali metal converter. Ah, let me back up. If you haven't seen Cody's lab, check him out. 100% worth every second of your time you spend watching that guy's videos. He is the internet's sweetheart. <laughs> His videos are very informative and well thought out. And they're just a joy. So check them out. So before I make this thing, we gotta figure out exactly what size it is. So let's do some investigating. So in order to figure out the size of his alkali metal converter, we just need to find clips in his video that have things with known size. So this one right here, we know that this is a two gang box cover, which is four inches across. So we can use that. And then we have this clip here, which has some CMUs in it, which are 8x8x16, eight by eight by so we can use this. Now we take these into Fusion 360, and we can calibrate them, entering in our known sizes, and then put a sketch on top, draw a line across what we want to measure, and measure that line. And it's just as easy as that. We're really Sherlock Holmes in here. So now we know his thing is about three and a half inches in diameter and four and a half inches tall. What's up with the muffler piece? Well, I didn't have a three and a half inch stainless steel pipe, so I went to the auto parts store and I think this will work just fine. It will take a little more prep, so to the lathe. Here's to hoping that this thing is not too sketchy to cut. That's too sketchy. I think this is too thin to actually hold rigidly enough in here to part off. So, what I'm going to do with this, or I guess what I've already done with this, and what I will do for the rest of the pipes is I'll just mark my cuts on the lathe and then cut it with a grinder. That way I still know I'm getting perfectly concentricous. That way I still know I'm getting perfectly straight cuts. So we got our parts cut. Now we can go over to the plasma cutter and get the fancy parts cut. So, since filming that last bit, we've had a little bit of a revelation. His original design isn't able to maintain enough heat down to the bottom of the, what do you call this? downspout. <laughs> the idea that I have, which may or may not work, I found this copper pipe that fits nicely inside of here. I'm not a chemist. I don't know if any of these alkali metals will react funny with the copper or if the copper will melt, which it likely will. So we're going to have the copper inside of this pipe and then another pipe inside of here, which means we're going to have to turn down the diameter of this just a little bit to fit in there. Stainless steel is an awful conductor, but copper is a great conductor, so I'm hoping it can sink some of the heat out of the furnace down to the bottom of this spout and keep it hot enough. That's our solution. We're going for it. So copper is such a soft metal, I can't just start banging it in there. What I'm going to do is insert it into the stainless steel pipe and then just slowly start trying to tap this guy in. So this is the side that will be in the furnace and I'm leaving quite a bit of a gap. That way, if the copper becomes molten, it's got room to expand. This is the bottom and we've got a little bit of room here. I'm gonna use that to braise the two metals together. That didn't seem to sweat, but the internet told me you can just use regular old silver solder on stainless to copper, so it must be true, right? Either way, this is not critical. Now we can take this guy, insert it into here, just like that. And our first weld is gonna be capping this, which is gonna be very difficult for a bad TIG welder like myself. Some awkward leg cramps and a major contribution to my future cataracts later. We did it, man. 
After that weld, the rest should be a breeze, right? Job done. These pieces go like kink. I think it turned out all right. The welds are not the best, but I never claim to be an expert. I'm just a guy in his garage who got a TIG welder a week ago. And if I'm being honest, this is my first time welding stainless steel. Don't tell Cody. This guy is getting that guy on top as a way to grab it, pull it out of here. And I think that's about it for the welding. This thing's all put together. Let's make sure we hit everything on the punch list. If it does, maybe I'll have somebody make one out of stainless for me. This gap here needs to be larger. But the end of the tube got a little bit too cold and some of the potassium solidified. I think it'd be pretty neat to have a logo on it. Well, if you insist, Cody. That'll do. So we gotta clean this thing up. And then also, I wanna make a funnel type thing that'll help pour the molten tin into here and a tool to pick this up. For the funnel, you might remember from my casting, <laughs> from my failed casting video, I have this piece. And we're just gonna clean this thing up and this'll be our funnel effectively. It's like a cute little hobbit house. This piece goes right in here. The notch goes over this outlet pipe. It goes right in there. That'll act as a good enough funnel. I don't think you need something around here, but he can just dump his tin on top of here and fill up that reservoir. Now we need a tool for pulling this off and pulling this off. And luckily, I found this nice teeny tiny round stuck. And we'll just make a little hook. All right, got a hook. See if it passed the test. Ding, check, ding, check. Now we just gotta make a handle for it. It's a good thing I'm excellent at breaking hand tools. There's no way I'm getting that piece out of there. I'll just grind down half of this, shove it in there with some epoxy, sand it down, call it good. Job done. I polished it up as good as I can with the tools that I have, but there's really no point because the second it goes in the furnace, the whole thing's gonna get torched. I think it turned out pretty good. It's watertight, so it should work. We got our cute little funnel piece, and I just went ahead and cleaned up this hook as well. I'll be getting in contact with Cody and seeing if he'll want it and hopefully sending this thing off to him. Otherwise, if you liked what you saw, maybe give me a thumbs up, maybe subscribe, and Thanks so much for watching.